Disclaimer, you will see Goodwill tags on these outfits. This is a try on haul slash creating thrifted outfits video. I kept the tags on because you actually can't try on clothing at Goodwill because of COVID. That makes sense, but okay, you can try on outfits at the mall. So messed up, right? <laughs> so I didn't cut off the tags until after the try on. And also I'm making a fashion statement. The statement is that I buy secondhand clothing because I am financially savvy and I care about the environment and that I'll return that bitch if it doesn't fit right. Outfit number one. I bought this jade green lacy cami. It's originally from Abercrombie and Finch. Personally, I feel like Abercrombie is the bitch from high school that everyone hates but wants to really be a part of. Regina, you know who you are. When are our differences going to be celebrated, not used as a metaphorical weapon? You know what I'm saying? But it was still cute enough to buy where I do shop, which is Goodwill, which is for the minorities, poor people, and people of all shapes. But hey, they aren't exclusive, so the white and the rich are always welcome to shop there and or just bring their clothes that they donate so that we can shop there. Yay for that. <laughs> Outfit number two, if you can even call this an outfit. <laughs> I know I see women who are brave enough to wear only a sports bra and shorts outside when they run, but that's not me. I don't know how they do it. I don't want that much attention as I wear a sports bra and shorts on the internet for all y'all to see. <laughs> but hey, at least you can't rate me through the screen. I'm still in the comfort of my home, and if you want to jerk off to this, remember that I still look like this when I'm editing. Sexy, isn't it? I bought these shorts because they have a second layer underneath to be more conservative, though looking at the videos, I still show way too much skin. It's like I'm trying to be conservative, but doing a bad job of it. Like any teenage girl film where the ugly girl in high school turns pretty. That was me! <laughs> Take that, popular kids who never wanted or gave me any attention. <laughs> How you like me now? Outfit number three, I got this cream dress originally from ECBG, which is supposed to be a good brand, I don't know. I don't know why I'm promoting it. It doesn't really matter what brand you're wearing. You don't even see the label. Honestly, you should buy what your heart pulls at. If you like that old navy shirt, get that damn shirt and rock it. I love these brown heels. I never get to wear them anymore because they are tall as fuck. And before, I could fall and hurt myself and I was only hurting myself. Now I have a 16 month toddler I carry around and being responsible for a whole nother life makes you realize how much you didn't care about yourself before. Sometimes I was like, damn, I'm kind of a bitch to myself for being indifferent about my life. But that was also kind of freeing. Anyways, I paired those shoes with this brown headband to tie the look together. Am I playing into the cosplay anime look a little bit because I'm Asian and also leaning into the cute aesthetics? A little bit. I mean, my husband tells me any way to get more viewers, right? <laughs> if I'm not showing skin, I'm not doing it right. <laughs> Thanks, husband. <laughs> Outfit number four. Did I want to try this look with white accessories? I sure did. Am I killing it though? Mm, I think so. Outfit number five. Guess where I got this chic, bohemian styled white sweater? From anthropology? From free people? No, I got it from Old Navy, bitch. I want an excuse to wear my brown fluffy mittens. So cute. And I matched it with the same brown headband. Pro tip, if you don't have brown shoes like I don't, just match your shoes with your outfit. Do I wear out the white sneakers? Damn straight I do. These things are the fucking shit. Outfit 
question number six. Check out this dress. I love this lavender color. I've been really picking up pastels recently because I have a baby. They only sell clothes in bright ass colors. And man, it looks so fucking cute on my daughter. I'm gonna embrace my inner child and rock this dress too. Outfit number seven, check me out in this dress. I mean, is it fucking stunning or what? I got this tip from Best Dress, but thrifted silks are fucking amazing. Holy shit, I love this dress on me. Okay, yes, okay, now I'm just jizzing over myself. <laughs> I played it down with this casual, albeit useless, mini purse. This cream headband and white sneakers. Outfit number eight, I just thrifted this jean jacket too. I've been looking for a jean jacket for the longest time. I was looking for one with wool on the collar, but I have yet to find one because duh, I live in SoCal and bitch, no one wears that because it's too hot to wear even in the winter. But I've seen it so often on Gilmore Girls, I'm like, I have to have one. Anyways, this jean jacket is an amazing rich blue color and is cropped, pro tip, cropped jackets look really great on dresses that are already making you look longer basically like maxi dresses i think this look brings me back to the 90s mm, i'm loving it fun fact about me i wasn't allowed to listen to music when i was younger so the first time i listened to music was when i was six or seven when my brother was rebelling against my mom and brought home an in-sync album she used to say music is what you dance to on pins and needles in hell Oh, my mom, she was the best. <laughs> Outfit number nine. Yes, I am now trying it with a white cardigan. And yes, this is newly thrifted. Yep, still looks good. This dress is fucking fire. Look, I have a pooch. Poochie, poochie, pooch. That's okay. I'm human and normal natural women have pooches. Especially after you have a baby. My pooch can make me look three months pregnant, but you know what? My body gave birth to the best thing in my life. So well done, body. Outfit number 10. Holy smokes, this is a revealing bodysuit. Anyways, check out the back of this top. It's so sexy. I should have worn some type of high heel or added some tights or both because I can see in the video that my legs are cut off in an awkward spot. Oh well, you live and learn. <laughs> I bought this black dress originally from h and I'm going for a very hipster. I spend $15 on avocado toast because why save for a home? Down payments in Los Angeles are $100,000 and above. I might be renting my apartment, but I'm living in the moment. Hopefully hopeless, huh guys? <laughs> Last one, I used to only buy things in black and white. I used to believe life was also black and white, but now that I'm a mother, I can see that life is all kinds of gray. Thanks for that terrible slice of humble pie life. I'm wearing it with some high-waisted shorts and excuse me for this. California girls were un unforgettable. Daisy dudes, gray sweaters on top. Eh? Eh? I'm sorry I made you guys listen to that. <laughs> I know, I have a spectacular voice. <laughs> Some say I could be Beyonce. <laughs> well, whatever. If you guys made it to the end, thanks for that. 
I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so much. I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. P.S. Red Cross is actually low in blood supply. That's a weird sentence to say, but not really. If you guys want to run down to donate some blood, you can save a life while sitting on your ass. And if that is not motivation enough, you can also lose 650 calories. That is what I used to do regularly. I would go to Red Cross to donate blood because not only was I saving lives, I was also losing weight. And as a woman, it is one of the most important and trivial things that we care about. So if you're not going to do it for selfless reasons, do it for a selfish one. Or, you know, not really care about how you look, but, you know, we all kind of still do. So I don't want to say that we shouldn't negate caring about what we look like. We all kind of still care about what we look like. Every human cares about what they look like. Anyways, go down to Red Cross. Save a life. 